Greetings movie makers, and welcome to this first tutorial of this series. Today's tutorial is, the interface and camera controls. These videos are going to be only for beginners, so hopefully you guys will stay motivated on this. And there will be memes and music like usually. First things first, this is what the interface will show you when you start up the program. Fill in the name of the project whatever you want. Then browse the location of the name. You can change the FPS like 24 by default, 30 or 25. Once you've done that, hit Create. You're gonna get three windows on the screen. The Animation Set Editor. The Primary View Port. And the Timeline. Now here's what you will do next. When you see this screen that says No Map Loaded. That's because we need to load a map. To load up a map, go to File on the top left corner. Then click on Load Map or hit Ctrl O. Or you can right click on the primary viewport and select Load Map. This will pop up to show all of the maps on screen. And to find a specific map, use the filter to type in the map's name, such as Stage Big. Then hit open. Here as you can see, we have a map but with no camera. So let's fix that. To create a camera, simply go to this button on the bottom right that says no camera. Click on the little arrow on the right and go to change scene camera. Then create a new camera. Now once you have a camera that you created, notice that you can drag the screen to look around. You can use the WSD keys to navigate the map. You have to move the camera while you're holding the mouse down on the screen in order for the camera to move. Pressing the C key is to go up. And pressing the X key is to go down. Pressing the R key rotates the camera. Using the mouse wheel is to zoom in and out. If you hold down the shift key while moving, you can accelerate fast. If you hold down the control key, you can go really slow. Here are some a couple of tricks while moving the camera. Hold down the alt key and left mouse to look around a 3D object. Alt middle drag is to pan. An alt right drag is to dolly in and out. Now here's something you can do without having to mess up the camera while working. Let's say I wanted to place camera 1 here and look at this orange spot on the floor. To do that, simply go to the camera button and hold down control left mouse click. Notice that it says work camera. I can now take a look at this orange spot without having to interfere the camera I just placed. And I can also switch back to the camera and the work camera to make some films behind the scenes. The camera I'm using is the static camera, so I can move in the clip editor, motion editor, and the graph editor. But let's say I wanted to create a real camera and the animation set editor. Simply click on the plus button on the top left corner and select create animation set for new camera. Now select the real camera and place it on the primary viewport. You cannot move the real camera in the clip editor, only the static camera can do that. So to move the real camera go to the motion editor. 
and you can simply move around. And you can also move it in the graph editor. Be sure that you always select the camera, otherwise the camera won't move at all when it's not selected. The three buttons right here that I mentioned. The clip editor is to edit your shots. The motions editor is to adjustable and tweak your animations. And the third one is the graph editor, is to animate by keyframes. But I'll get to that later in the future tutorials. In the timeline you can also drag the playhead left and right. You can also drag the film strip as well under the playhead. You can press spacebar to play the animation, or click on the play button. If you use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out the playhead, or you can press F to view on shot in the current timeline. You can also use the up and down arrow keys to go from start to finish. This will come in handy as we go further later on, and be sure to always save your work. Hopefully this tutorial helps you out, because this is my first time making a professional tutorial like Valve's. Later in the next tutorial I will be teaching you how to place characters in the map and how to actually move them around with the tools that Source Filmmaker has. And leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.